Okay. A little lucky. Whoa. Alright, what's going on guys? It's Dorian here. Uh, this will be number 16 of the series. Uh, this will be as Graves, the new dude that just came out. and He is pretty fucking sweet. Um, I won't really give you a champion spotlight thing, but I'll slow this fight down because it was really funny. Well, not that slow. That guy should have died. I don't know. This got this Nocturne AFK here. See, I could have flashed in to kill that guy, but I was pretty sure that I was going to kill him. I try to kill him, and then the, bu the brush fucks me over. And then I realize I'm not going to be able to get anybody but this Tarek. So, kill the Tarek, and then I die. Funny way to start the game, especially since this dude, God knows what he's doing. He's just chilling out. Uh, but for Graves, his Q, uh, his buckshot, shoots out three little shots. Uh, smoke screen is really cool. Uh, you can throw it on the ground, and it makes people blind to whatever is not inside the smoke screen. Uh, and quick draw is really cool. It's kind of like a little uh, mini getaway. Um, you can use it to jump over some walls. You'll see me do that at a couple spots here. Um, and his ultimate is just like a skill shot, a ranged skill shot. Uh, it hits for a certain amount of damage, and it does like a spray behind it as well, too. So, if you, I think if you get really lucky, you can hit him with both. But I don't even really know to be sure. Um, as far as skill builds or skill orders, uh, I definitely would say go with uh, maxing the Q first. You could max the E first because the attack speed is really key. Um, it makes the cooldown go a down a little bit, I think, but not too much. Um, Almost get the first, well, I guess it wouldn't have been first blood, but almost get a kill there on that guy. Uh, Amumu comes in here, and we troll around with him for a little while. Pick up that guy, and then uh, this alley's just tanking, tanking, tanking. And then barely lives, 62 HP. I shoot my Q into the brush and finish that guy off, get a double kill. Well, I guess it wasn't really a double kill, was it? It was like a half double. Um, but as far as builds go for this guy, I'd have to say um, it's pretty much personal preference. Freak in his video says he chooses the Bloodthirster and uh, Phantom Dancer. I kind of like going the uh, Trinity Force build, actually. The Trinity Force is pretty strong. Uh, when I go back here, I pick up uh, Doran's Blade, Zerker Greaves, and then the Longsword. Um, I played a game as him before this game, it just absolutely wrecked, uh, but this game was really special. Uh, get another kill here on that guy. Trying it close to go for the double kill again, but uh, no dice. Uh, this Alistar uh, is very, very, very good to play with in comparison to uh, everything else that I normally play. That guy just blew up instantly, couldn't even slow it down. <laughs> There's a really cool scene somewhere in this video where I dominate these guys 2v1 where I thought I was going to die. And I thought it was pretty cool. Um, been streaming a lot lately. Um, I gave out the RP to those two winners. So uh, I already I sent them emails asking if they wanted their names to be uh, out there in the world. Because I talked to another uh, YouTube director and he said probably not to do that because then people get hacked and... He's got a bad experience with it. Uh, got a fight coming down here. 4v3. That guy gets blowed up instantly. Not much we can really do to save him, I guess. Um, let's see if anything goes down. Nope, nothing goes down. I go back and I pick up... I finish the zeal, actually. Uh, God knows why I do the things I do when I play games sometimes. I don't even know why I would get the zeal first, but I guess I really wanted to run fast. <clears throat> uh, this so far with Graves, I think I'm like 5-1 and one on the season with him. Um, and you'll see right here, just fucking around with this Amumu. Take him down pretty much from full to like 20% almost instantly. Um, finish off that tower there. I probably could have stayed and killed that Tarek, but I was more concerned with just farming for now. Uh, 
they had a really, really, really bad bottom lane. But I've seen a lane like this crush before, and um, I don't know. It's hit and miss sometimes when you have like an AP lane and and a support. It's a little different. Try to get out of there, but I take like three ultimates to the face. Uh, I'll try and speed this game up a little bit more though, just because we gotta be within the 15 minute time frame here. Uh, Graves, as far as I'm concerned, uh, was really, really, really like long overdue because we haven't had any other uh, AD range in a really, really long time since like I don't even know since Caitlyn, or I don't even remember the last one we had was so. I was really thankful when they said it was going to be a ranged guy. Um, sorry about that. Didn't <laughs> get a chance to slow it down. We've got another fight going on here. Just pretty much try and stay out of the way as often as you can. Uh, just trying to stay right out of the edge of all the ultimates. Uh, pick up one kill there. Uh, I get a little overconfident here and think I can kill them. I get stunned like four times in a row. Uh, that guy flashes on me, and I think I can kill this Tarek, but right before I get a chance to kill him, I die, so. Uh, we got really good teammates this game. Uh, it was really cool to see, uh, normally in solo queue, uh, it's quite the opposite of that. You don't really get a good team. Um, we'll just skip through most of this farming BS. Uh, that's pretty much the thing with solo queue, though. If getting a good team versus getting, like, a really bad team, that's pretty much how the games go, you know? That's that's going to determine whether or not you win or not. Uh, pretty much nothing to talk about with these fights until we get into a team fight, because it's just me focusing one guy down or me and two guys chasing another guy. Uh, but I really like, though, uh, is if you're playing really well and you're on the ball, you can pretty much get away, like, all the time. Because if you go by a crack where you can just go, you can, like, jump through it, or uh, if you're near a wall that you can jump over, uh, it makes it super-duper easy to, to get away from pretty much anything. Uh Waste all my summoners and my flash just to get that guy, like a pro. That's how you do it. Uh, big team fight going on. I stay over here. There we go. See, trying to stay on the edge. Just trying to stay on the edge. Kind of get some cleanup going on here. And that's pretty much this, the story to play in a ranged AD. Any AD. Um, this guy specifically has a lot more advantages as far as like getting away with the smoke shield and as well as just the little jump away with the E, whatever it's called, the quick draw. Uh, steal that red from that guy because I'm a pro. I didn't realize how long this game was. Holy shit. Got another team fight going on. Nope. Oh, yeah, I get initiated on. Try and stay in the back again. Get focused on by a lot of these dudes. Shoot my Q out. This guy jumps me out of the tower. Bad idea, bro. And that's pretty much the end of the fight. That guy gets an ace up there. I know that for sure. Um, and at this point, you can see that I have Trinity Force and Bloodthirster. So at this point, I'm just doing sick amounts of damage. Right here. Unstoppable. <laughs> They both come in to kill me. I think I'm going to die. I try and get away. And I'm like, wait a minute. That brand is soft as shit. I'm going to fucking rape that fool. Kill this guy nice and fast. No big deal. See, I shot my ult there. I love the little splash effect that comes off the back of it there. Very cool. I try and get this Baron. But that guy takes off for a bit and I get owned by it. <laughs> Blow that guy up. Getting away. Talon goes in there, gets the kill, and then he dies. He dies to the brand, like a noob. Oh, shit. Didn't even get a chance. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I three-shot that fool. 
But yeah, thanks guys. This is my Graves video. I know I was a little uh, fast through a lot of things, but I just wanted to get the game out there and show that he is a pretty strong hero um, and that uh, it's pretty much the greatest thing to happen to Riot or for Riot in a really long time is for them to release uh, ranged AD champion. Uh, it's been so long since we've had one that it's just complete trash that they waited this long to, to give us one. But uh, thanks for the views, guys. And remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Um, anybody that comments knows that I always do uh, read my comments and I reply to them. So um, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you around for the next video. Peace. Let's let this finish up here. I know these guys are going to surrender anyways. Pick up another kill. Go and finish off the fountain. Boom. GG. Peace, guys.